Harvey, three goals and two assists. Pretty much a perfect night, right? Yeah, I think it was a, it was a result that was needed for us. Um, you can see first off we were we were getting there, but we were getting a bit frustrated still. Um, we were getting into good areas, but not quite getting the finishing touch or um, that final pass wasn't quite there. And then you saw in the second half, that little bit of composure and that little bit of quality in the final pass and the finish, uh, you get three good goals and a, it's a good result in the end. How important was it to, to keep the faith given the run you've been on to keep believing that the, the chance in the first goal would come? Yeah, I think it's, it's something that we always have had, but when you're on that, that difficult run, like you said, um, you do need to keep believing, you need to keep being confident as a team and you need to keep creating and, and trying to get that goal. Um, Sometimes it doesn't come, but you know, as long as you keep you keep going and, and keep creating, um, a lot of the time it does. Like tonight, you know, the first half we had to be patient. We could see it wasn't quite coming, but we kept going. Um, and second half it paid off. It helps when you've got someone like Jamie Vardy up front. Right, he 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 looked really sharp. And and talk us about your relationship with him on the pitch. Yeah, I think in a way both goals are similar. Where you know, when I get the ball and I start driving, I think he sort of. Knows that I'm looking for him, um, whether it's a, a deeper pass like it was for the first where there's a lot of space or them little little sliders where he's in the box and it's, it's a great finish. Um, obviously the first one, we get a bit of fortune, but we probably haven't had that in the last few games, so we, we were due a bit. Um, but that was an important goal, I think. You know, the longer it goes, nil-nil, we get frustrated and you know you, you want to get that, that goal out of the way and then we can be positive from there. Um, but we've always had that good connection. He looks for me and, and I look for him and you know tonight it's, it's worked well for the two goals. And you had a, a, a bird's eye view of then James Madison's third goal, which was a, a cracking finish, wasn't it? It was, yeah. You know, we've spoke about, especially over the last few days, uh, getting bodies in the box when crosses come in. Um, we probably haven't had enough bodies in there, haven't had enough people wanting to score. And you, know, you see tonight when you get bodies in there and the ball drops in the box, we've got someone there to finish it. It's a great finish as well. Um, so, no, a great night's work, I think. And up to 10th, you could finish still as high as 8th in the Premier League. Um, there's there's plenty to play for, not just at Watford at the weekend, but then the, the final two games after that. Yeah, I think it's it's been a weird one. It's probably you know the only season in the last few years where we're at the end and we haven't got a big target to aim for. Um, so we set ourselves little targets. We need to finish the season as well as we can, give ourselves that momentum going into, of course, the break in the summer. But then going into pre-season, we want to be as positive as we can, and that helps if we finish the season well. I think so. Three more three more games to go, and hopefully three more good results. And you head to Watford now off the back of a victory, I'm sure, with, with an awful lot of confidence. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, the three goals tonight will, will definitely give us a lot of confidence going into that. And obviously, they're a team that, that have struggled this year, as as a Norwich tonight. And you know, for us, we want to go there and put on a display like we did tonight, and hopefully, get some goals and come away with three points. Mm -hmm.